what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so in this video we're going to be talking about one of the more underutilized but more complicated grenades to use for the hunter class that grenade is going to be the spike grenade throughout my time in destiny 2 spike grenades have always been overlooked hunters tend to gravitate towards the more ease of use grenades which are void wall and vortex if you aren't willing to put in the time into mastering the spike grenade this isn't a video for you, but if you want a grenade that can wipe teams, that can seal doorways and keep your enemy from retreating, then this is a video for you. Today, we are going to be mastering the spike grenades. Before I get into the viability and their utility, we first need to learn what I like to call the throw, which is one of the most important things you need to learn about the spike grenade. A poorly thrown grenade is an ineffective grenade and a waste of a grenade. When having spike grenades as your main grenade, you need to approach every map with the mindset of seeing nothing but walls and angles and corridors because the bulk of your grenade kills are going to be coming from entrapping your enemy in a no way out situation. When you start playing every map as if it's corners and angles and, ang and walls and corridors, then you start envisioning where you can place the proper grenade to where it'll be effective. If I throw a grenade here, is my enemy going to be trapped to where they have to commit and fight me? Or are they going to die from the grenade? Now, a few things to keep in mind with spike grenades. Low ceilings and camera angle crosshair placement. Low ceilings will always, always get you guys. When you try to throw a grenade, a low ceiling will always take that grenade. You will throw the grenade and it'll get stuck to the top of the ceiling. Another thing, the further an object is away is the higher you have to place your camera angle on your crosshairs. If something is in front of me, depending how far away it is, if I put my crosshairs right in the center, right on it, and I throw that spike grenade, even if I have the perk fastball on my gauntlets, it will not reach there. It will fall short every time, which is why you have to move your camera angle up a little bit. Now you're probably wondering, well, Brave, that's a lot of room for error. I've yet to practice with these spike grenades. They look awesome, but I'm just not going to click on spike grenades and go into the crucible. I'm going to get wrecked. I'm not going to get any kills. One way of getting a lot of practice is to load up a private match of mayhem and go into any map of your choice and start practicing your throw. Work on angle placement. Work on your consistency. If I throw a grenade here, how many times can I throw it to make sure it lands in the proper place? Throw after throw until you are certain you can achieve the proper angle. If you are playing trials, and you, the map is burnout. Go into that map and practice your grenade throws there. Get the proper angles. Now, why are these grenades deadly? Simple. The amount of damage they can deal in a short amount of time. Their constant amount of damage make them deadly. For anybody who's on the receiving end of this grenade, if you are stuck and you are trying to, oh my gosh, it's behind me, it's hitting me, it's hitting me, you need to run and get away from it. The constant damage over and over and over will kill an enemy. But that's not the main feature I like about these grenades. Unlike Void Wall with their unpredictability spread and the Vortex with their mid-sized radius, spike grenades, if done properly, will always spray out towards the angle you predetermined for them. If I throw it in this angle, they will always spray out at that angle. If you aimed at a specific wall to deal damage at a specific location, then you will always get that angle if done properly. Now, how do I tend to utilize spike grenades? Well, it's simple, guys. I tend to pair them with either my primary weapon or my smoke bomb. Guardians tend to panic when they're entrapped in a spike grenade. So once you start seeing those damage numbers pop up, you start hitting them, and all of a sudden damage numbers pop up, that is your proper time to jump out there and start dealing damage because people say it like this. Oh my gosh, Brave. Spike grenades are super easy. I'm just going to shoot it off the wall when you throw it. At the time your enemy is shooting that spike grenade off the wall, this is your time to capitalize on them. This is your time when they start shooting that grenade, you go in there and you take their lunch money. So as soon as you see damage numbers come up, it means they are damaged. It means that you either broke their shields or they took a little bit of damage. At that very moment, any guardian taking any bit of damage is going to start retreating and running. So that's when you need to engage and capitalize on that. Another thing you want to keep in mind is spike grenades are great for limiting your enemy's escape. If my enemy decides to, okay, we're going to, most guardians in trials or in survival, they tend to peak. They peak 
they deal a little bit of damage once they start receiving damage they tend to turn back and run away every guardian does this spike grenades can limit that a properly thrown spike grenade can cut off any guardian's retreat throw a spike grenade on a wall that's behind the guardian boom you start doing damage where are they gonna go into your spike grenade you now have forced them to either stay put and fight or exit the fight take additional damage and possibly risk death and being cleaned up by the spike grenade well you're probably wondering brave how do i get the most out of this grenade well getting into some sticky situations and getting good grenade placement goes a long way what's your saving grace it's simple you are a hunter and you have your dodge ability for that if you have to slide out to get the best grenade placement there is on a wall if you slide and there's a wall you have to slide out into damage into danger this is why you have your dodge ability to save you from overextending if you slide out you throw a grenade they start dealing damage on you you shade out of there get back into cover and you wait for damage numbers simple again once you start seeing damage numbers this is your time for you to capitalize or for your team to capitalize on the engagement with that guys it brings us to the end of the video I hope out of everything mentioned in this video, you take one thing from it, which is spike grenades are great options. If you don't mind putting in the work and a little bit of effort to learn how to utilize them, they will take your game to another level. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy content like this, feel free to subscribe. It's free and who doesn't like free? If you found this type of content to be the type of destiny content you like and you want to see more of, do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up. That thumbs up lets me know, Brave, I want to see more content like this. And also, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, head over to twitch.tv slash BraveXHero and you'll probably catch me doing some trials help or overall using fun loadouts in the Crucible or in Trials. With that, guys, you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.